Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Guess what? Guess what? I've only got three Pidgeys, so we're, st <laughs> we're still short from clearing out the colorless altar in one go. So I was thinking, as long as we're here at the Fire Club, we should probably clear out the Fire Club. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we can get a Pidgey out of this. And I guess I'll continue using the Swift deck. I know the Paralyzed deck with the Water Pokemon would be better here, but... I'm just... You know, I don't want to sweep them too easily. I want to show you all sorts of different strategies, including stuff with even matchups and weak matchups and stuff like that. So, I was able to make a hot and fiery deck since my cards were a turn. Let's have us a hot blazing duel. You gotta discourage yourself, you wanna burn your hottest! Okay, fine. I'll make all my fights hot, fiery, and totally fun. Let's see, battles are more fiery with four prize cards. The Divine Blaze deck is a go-go. I don't know why I really stressed that, but anyway. <laughs> so, we need more PG. We gotta get some more boosters. <laughs> Yeah, I really could do this off-camera, probably, but I'm gonna clear these places out anyway, so... Might as well. Uh, it's tempting to do the Voltor, but... Because, you know, the extra damage, but that Electabuzz has got the Paralysis, so I think I'm gonna go with the Electabuzz. And... For Parizacardaz... Hedaz... Very nice Oz... Ooh, plus power. Well, I could do 20 with that, but... That's not exactly... The, the, the ideal position to use a plus power, so it's like, hold on to it until you need it, basically. Now he's gonna be smoke screening me, because I cannot get the paralysis coin flip. Oh, well, is he gonna. Oh, you know, bench, bench Pokemon, okay. Interesting. Interesting. Hmm. Alright, well, anyway, I'm gonna go plop that on there and go for the Thunder Punch this time. Uh, oh. <laughs> It's probably gonna get a bench Pokemon before I can uh, at least attempt to finish him off. It's gonna do 30 and then 40 after the turn, but then I'm gonna Voltorb it. Oh yeah, I got another Lightning. Um, I think I'm, I should actually do this. Defender, and then Thunder Punch, come on heads, yeah! Because I say Thunder Punch and maybe I can get another extra turn with Electabuzz due to the Defender? Perhaps, maybe, might be- okay, he's got a bench Pokémon. <laughs> got a little worried for him for a second there, I might have to, I have to replay him, but... Nah, we're okay, we're okay. So there's a zero, and there's the poison. <laughs> Thought maybe, maybe, I can attack again with the Electabuzz, perhaps? Might be! Let's see. Mm, heads? Now I need... Heads as well, I guess it doesn't matter because I'm poisoned, so... <laughs> and the KO of the Magmar happened. Alright, so I don't know if I want to put in the Voltor with the energy card that I already have. Because it's going to get a free hit. I mean, he's going to get a free hit on it. So I'm going to go and do that. He's got another Ponyta, okay. And Vulpix! <laughs> I must have drew into one and I got a prize card for the other in Rapidash. Uh, I never showed this version of Rapidash before, so I will give that a rundown really quick. Well, sometime really quick, but... <laughs> yeah, the Inferno doesn't do that much unless you got some more stuff, but here it is. I mean, it's got up to two Fire Energy cards and you use the attack. It does 10 damage plus 20 more damage for each Energy card that was discarded, so... What you could do is do 50 damage for 2 energy, but you have to discard that. That's, that's pretty useful stuff, but he doesn't have 2 energy cards on it right now, so it's kind of kind of out of the question. And then there's Kick Away. It does a Switchy Swappy, but does the damage before the Switchy Swappy happens. Um... Hmm... I should probably... Oh, well, as I say, I should probably switch and then attack, but he might actually do the two damn. Well, hmm. And I think it is my best bet anyway to do a retreat to that, 
And then we're gonna go... Hmm... Hmm, actually I could plus... I mean, uh, Gust of Wind to something else. Like the Vulpix. Maybe I'll do that. Because the Vulpix doesn't have energy. I mean, he might just retreat it anyway, but that'll burn his energy card in general. And then I'll attack with Speedball. Just trying to think through my moves a little more than just rushing through. <laughs> and... Fire energy for the Vulpix. Uh, gets the plus powers again. Uh, so... Hey, he is trying to power up Vulpix, interesting enough. Uh, and yes, uh, energy removal is very effective against fire Pokémon, so I should be using the other deck in general, but... As I said, I don't want to be exploiting everything at every point, it's just going to be too easy, and I'm not teaching you anything then. <laughs> um, what I could do is set up the Dark Electrode, and... Well, I'm not going to plus power, because he might do a switch, and then... Uh, you might switch into the Rapidash. Oh, you just power up Rolith, okay. And no, okay, okay, we're, we're, we're using that AI to our advantage here. <laughs> um, should I just not attack? <laughs> and if that's tempting, or should I just... Uh, hmm. Hmm. Like, what if I don't attack? Let's, just out of curiosity, is he actually gonna be smart enough to switch, or is he gonna... No! <laughs> okay. Spiro. Put that on there. And now that I got a Spiro, I might just go for the attack. Because the Dark Electro will be okay with the Rapidash. Yeah, that's Speedball. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think if I was Sam, I'd have put more pressure on me. But... AI, after all... Maybe it does, maybe AIs don't recognize how many bench Pokemon you have or, or whatnot. Or what kind of bench Pokemon you have in general. Hmm. Okay, not, not, not attacking, alright. So we're gonna speedball. And we're gonna end that turn. Very interesting. Very interesting. <laughs> Another Ponyta. Ponyta. Aaron Runny. So yeah, why, why isn't he going for the the Rapidash sweep? Or at least ver to knock out something with the Rapidash. I don't know. It just seems all oh, very suspicious. So I got lightning energy now. I wonder if I should go for powering up Spearow or if I should go for the Dark Electrodes explosion-y explosion. Mmm. Mmm. But what I do know is I'm going to plus power to knock out the Growlithe. And I'm going to add this probably... to the Dark Electrode. <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah, I know, I know you could do more damage with the, the Spiro, but I think I'm going to get it... Oh, I was going to say, I think I'm going to get another energy card soon enough. Based on my lack of energy cards. And then now I definitely am with Professor Oak, so... And you know, with that, uh... With him putting out the Ponyton, not the Rapidash again, I think we got this one here, because I could retreat to the Dark Electrode, use the plus power on the Dark Electrode, and if I get a Lightning Energy, and I probably will get a Lightning Energy, so I'll pop that on there as well, and that will be game over, because I have the powers of the explodey explodey. But we'll see. We got Lightning and a Bill. <laughs> Might as well see what the Bill gives us. Fighting Hitmonchan. Yeah, Hitmonchan would have been game over as well. Just because he would just outlast the Rapidash in general. I know I'm talking a lot about the Rapidash, but it really is the only major threat that he's got right now. Just yeah, two of those Ponyta and yeah, the Rapidash. But yeah, any energy, energy bomb, I'll put down the Voltor. Whoops, the, 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 wait, did I just select the fighting? Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's right, it's all energy cards. I, I was thinking it was just lightning energy cards for some reason. Uh, I don't know why I'm putting so much thought into this, because I, I win anyway, so... <laughs> yeah, he didn't really, didn't really utilize that Rapidash after I forced the switch. 
It's kind of... kind of interesting. <laughs> Alright, John has been defeated! It's hot, so hot, that bath really burn! Assault booster bear, give me a Pidgey for the love of Arceus. Moonstone to pull out your colorless critters. No Pidgey! No Pidgey, but maybe... Maybe the second pack will be a Pidgey! And no, oh, that Ghastly is a good version of Ghastly. It's got the Lick and cause paralysis, you know how that's nice. With the one energy attacks and can energy conversion. You put two energy cards into your hands, like an energy retrieval for your deck, but Ghastly does damage to itself. Anyway, let's keep on going with it. Of course, I get Pidgeotto with no, no Pidgey in sight. Just, just oh, there we go! Now we're ready! <laughs> But now, I'm, now I've started the fire club, I might as well clear out the rest. Please use the cards you got from these bo those boosters to make your fiery deck. I will. Although it's going to include Pidgey, so it's not going to be that fiery next guy. <laughs> Ken has gotten more cards and shared them so he could, uh, so he could make do it. <laughs> so he could make decks, I can't speak. I'm so happy I haven't felt that's this psyched for a long time. I really feel like I'm burning hot. Let's have a dual mint. No. Say what? I want to be nothing but ash soon. I'll burn if I have a duel with you. <laughs> Come on, let's see it. Wait. Wait, you said you, you would burn if I have a duel if you have a duel with me, but then you're gonna be you're gonna be ash soon if I don't duel you, but won't burning lead to ashes because that's what ash does. It, we probably shouldn't question it. So we'll burn brightly with four prize cards in this match. Spark voltage. <laughs> So let's see what we get. We get Spiro and Bill, I guess. I and mean, there is a the Firo that'll help a little bit, but the thing about it is we need more of the basics to kind of prevent ourselves from. Oh, that's bad! <laughs> prevent ourselves from being KO'd rapidly, especially with the impending thunder shocks. Oh no! I can't even attack with Spiro at all, or Firo for that matter. I'll probably just evolve to, uh, to stall out in general, but let's just see what we get with Bill. Uh, Professor Oak. Oh, okay. So we're gonna stall. Oh, yeah, it's still the first turn, so I can't. That's right. Oh, man, that would have really sucked if I didn't have Professor Oak. Okay, so right, well, let, let's do Defender instead. I was jumping the gun. <laughs> might as well plus power as well. It's not gonna attack, but I might as well. Uh, but yeah, I, I jumped the gun thinking I could at least stall for a turn with Dark Firo. But yeah, it's, it was his first turn, not my first turn, so... That's Professor Oak. Not attaching any energy cards, they're just gonna go get discarded anyway when the, when the Spiro gets KO'd. Okay, there's a bunch of... Basics. Got yeah, some fightings. So, alright, I think I got an idea of what I want to do here. Don't play flying Pokémon, that's what I wanted to. <laughs> Uh, and I'll save the other Electabuzz since I already got one. And I'll play that on the Mod Shop for the KO on the next turn. And end turn here. If I don't get paral uh, if I don't get paralyzed and he doesn't explode the Magnemite, which it looks like he's gonna do for some reason, uh, I was gonna say I could uh, uh, just swap freely into the Mod Shop, but maybe he recognizes that and he's like, okay, yeah, I, sh I should, I should do that, do a little damage to the Mod Shop for the future. I don't know, that's probably too deep of thinking for AI. <laughs> and it's gravity. Oh, I was gonna say grab a uh, prize card. Yeah, I will. Okay, we'll Mach up and Vulpix. So I'm not gonna knock it out as planned, but we have the powers of the powers. Mm. I wonder if I should attach that fighting to Electabuzz. Probably. And... not the Spiro. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, everyone's down 10 HP because of the self-destruct. So that works in his advantage and also disadvantage. Based on that, how that goes, because I get the next attack after that. So he's down one turn in regards to that. Uh, maybe I should power up another Electabuzz, after all. Mm, I already got the Voltor. Alright, Loki. <laughs> Maybe I'm putting too much thought into this. 
but I said I was gonna put more thought into my moves, so... Well, well, that's how things are rolling. <laughs> and, ooh, that could be a problem. Could do them more damage. It's also, it's also got agility, which can be quite an issue in on itself, but... Anyway, I could use the lightning energy soon. I oh, got another Machop, that would be... I'd probably focus on that rather than the buzzes. Yeah, I'll just low kick then. Let him knock out the Machop. And he's probably gonna start doing the agility, which could very well, yeah, prevent all effects of attacks. So hopefully Tails. Mm. <laughs> so I guess we're gonna be switching into something that he's allowed to freely knock out. So I can get the free attack later. How about... I guess... I guess... The already damaged Electabuzz. Well... Yeah, I'll do it like that. And just wait for him to... Fail in agility. I can't actually attack with the... Oops, I can't, I can't actually attack with the Thundershock. Because, yeah, it requires lightning. Both attacks require lightning, so... Yeah, it's just... Eh, don't really have... The required energies... And nothing. Hmm. 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 Maybe I should have attached it to this Electabuzz. Well, I gotta switch now. Alright, so we're gonna switch to that Electabuzz and hope for a head flip. Because then I can knock out the Rapidash outright. No plus power. <laughs> I kinda had to discard that in general to get a better hand. Oh, yeah! That's how it's done, baby! <laughs> And lightning energy, sure. Now you give me uh, lightning energy. Uh, Vulpix has got a little bit of damage on it due to the Magnemite. And that could very well mean I'm gonna wipe it out this turn. Probably. Possibly. Let's see. Head flip, head flip, head flip. Oh. So 10 damage to myself. He's, that means he's gonna switch to something else. And, you know, stall out, because that's his best move, basically. Yep, there's this Pikachu switch. And... to, Vul to Vulpix. Okay... Uh, anyway, Bill. Plus power, plus power, plus power, plus power! <laughs> um... Hmm. Should probably go for that, for one thing. Do that... Just kind of powering up the backups. And it's not going to knock out Pikachu regardless of the coin flip, but I just don't want Tails in general because of the 10 damage to myself, and it's also going to take two to knock out Pikachu just in general as well. And, oh, no switchy switchy either. Are you, or did you run out of, uh, yeah, you ran out of HP. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess I, uh, win out then, uh, sorry guy. But I played this too well-ish. I, I don't know, I didn't play it that well. <laughs> it's just even to start out with. Victor! I'm completely burned out. Now, are you gonna turn to ashes now? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, for mere boost attack. Let's see who we get. The Dugong. I, don't know, I noticed that the Dugong is actually a rare card. It's, it's actually an uncommon in the regular TCG, but anyway. Um, a lot of duplicates. I've got to remember to watch my blaze and I'm dueling you. No, no ashes. All right, all right. So you're you're still you're still good. You're still in one piece, right? Okay. So with that, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part when I battle the other two members after my stare off with this guy.